Almost every summer morning, I go for a hike looking for wild mushrooms. I live on a hundred acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains. The property hosts summer camps for little kids, so there are a lot of campsites scattered around. Just beyond the property is the National Forest. I often find a lot of interesting wild edibles here, like black trumpets. These mushrooms can be hard to see, and oftentimes I'll accidentally step on them until I realize I've found a whole bunch. Wandering through the wilderness, I always find new things. The other day I found this beautiful luna moth and this very young chaga growing on sweet birch. In a forest closer to home, I found a huge patch of smooth chanterelles. These are a wild, choice edible mushroom. These mushrooms grow from the mycelium in the soil, rather than from dead wood. The mushrooms like to grow in hardwood forests especially forests of uh, oak and beech. This patch has provided me with so much abundance. I've probably eaten about 15 pounds or more from this patch alone. Smooth chanterelles have false gills, meaning they have subtle wrinkles on the underside. They also have a fleshy stem, similar to shiitake. If you find a big patch of chanterelles like I did, several pounds can be harvested at once. In a different area of the forest, I found cinnabar chanterelles. These small, vibrant red mushrooms are a tasty alternative to the normal chanterelle. With several varieties of chanterelles, I'm ready to do some campfire cooking. This part of the forest has a lot of shelters that were built by the children's camps. Beyond the shelters, there's a fire ring where I'm going to cook my chanterelles with a cast iron skillet. I always keep birch bark in a tin, so I can use it as tinder to get my fire started quickly. Trying to build a small fire that'll create some good coals that'll burn for at least 15 30 minutes so I can cook my chanterelles up.
Now that I have a solid bed of coals, it's time to start cooking my mushrooms. Campfire cooking can be a rather frustrating experience sometimes. You don't want your food getting too hot and burning, but you also don't want it too far away from the fire so that it doesn't cook. It's the middle ground you want. I was so excited to cook my mushrooms, I didn't cook anything else with them. However, the mushrooms are really tasty by themselves. They're one of the best foods, honestly.